Hey guys, so today we're going to do another Tiny Campers tour, this time of my truck. Uh, this is my Ford Maverick 2022 Ford Maverick Hybrid, and uh, I, I wanted to be able to camp in this truck just like I do my Sienna, but uh, uh, I wanted to start off with the easy camper build and just kind of learn a few things, and just like the name implies, this is an easy camper build, and it'll get you up and running pretty pretty quickly, so uh, let me show you. So. Um, my idea is to, for the most part, I'm going to camp with this tonneau cover on and opens up and you can see it, it already exposes um, my, my camping platform. Let me open up the tonneau cover. Of course, the tonneau cover is normally clamped down. It doesn't open that easy. Um, but let's see what I got. Okay, so here, you know, you could put big items, of course. So what I have here is my sleeping bag. Um, and I'll leave a link in the description for all these things. Here's my um, my power station. This is a very inexpensive power station, and it's actually worked pretty well. Um, this refrigerator, this is a real refrigerator. It's not a cooler. Um, it is brand new. I haven't even used it yet. But... Uh, it's uh, 21 liters, I think. And here I have my solar panels. And this solar panel is really nice because it's got this soft material right there that I could just leave on top of my car. And um, let me show you, if, if you don't want to keep this in the back of your truck and you want to put a bike in there, let me show you how it fits inside the right, car. So if you don't have a tonneau cover or don't want a tonneau cover or you don't want to carry stuff in the back there, of course you could throw everything in the cab. You can see it doesn't take up very much room at all. A sleeping bag, uh, refrigerator, and you, you know, of course you could still access it from the inside. Here's the solar panel and there's the power station. Everything fits really well and I'll show you how I'll set it up in a second, but let's go back to the bed. All right, so if you don't have a tonneau cover or don't want one for that matter, and you wanna, for instance, pack your bicycle, this is the way it could look. You know, without even having a bike rack, you could just flip it upside down and just strap it down. It's up to you how you want to do it. Um, there are ways you can mount it too, of course. Let's take a look at how it looks inside. So you can see there's still plenty of room back here to carry a lot more stuff. Uh, you know, you can strap everything down. So if you want to make it real easy, just throw stuff in the back of your pickup truck and go camping. All right, so let's set up our power station and get started. Again, this is a, this is, this is a really nice uh, solar panel thing because it has that soft fabric. And the nice thing about the soft fabric is that I could just hang it up here. So I could just put it up there, lay it flat or lay it at an angle. There's some backrest for it too. Show you how that looks. So it's getting all that sun right now, laying flat, power station. So this power station, uh, we, we could set up basically anywhere, but for the most part, you know, let's say I'm gonna leave it right here. And again, the refrigerator, we could just leave anywhere also. All right, so for this refrigerator, one really nice thing is that it has this nice um, storage place, but uh, if you upgrade to this battery pack, it's got, you know, some USB charging capabilities, but you upgrade to this battery pack, it fits in there, there's a, hole back there for the plug so you can power this refrigerator through this battery pack all by itself so you don't even need the power station you can use that battery pack so that's really nice so you could carry this anywhere around the campground all right so before you even set up camp if you need to get any gear or to cook yourself a meal let me show you what i have here this is my uh, kitchen pull out uh, drawers so you can see got two burners, some spice racks, you know, uh, storage for things, you know, pots and pans and things like that. Under here I got my plates. So I built everything around the items I had. So these partitions, they all fit accordingly. Um, so I have my legs too. You need to extend it a little bit further and use some legs. When you have it pulled out this far, you know, it, it holds up fine by itself. But if you want to pull it out a little bit further, what you can do is you can add these legs. Put in these pins. 
here, you'll be able to extend it even further and just stand it on the legs. That's how it looks with the legs. So if you want to take the legs off, it's kind of the same thing. And what I would, would just put back in on the rest. Take off the pins. Put the legs back in its slot. You can take it from the top, like I did this leg, or on the bottom. Everything goes back in. Next up is the gear drawer. Same concept. So I got my folding chairs, uh, lantern. I, I got uh, my blow up bed, which we're gonna set up in a second. And I actually have this. This is actually really nice. And I'll show you how, uh, this is basically a, um, a work tripod, you know, like a garage light tripod, but it's gonna work great for camping. And I'll show you at nighttime um, when I set everything up again and uh, you can see the lights at night. This actually works really well. Let me show you what it looks like in the daytime first. So it's just a really rugged tripod. And uh, you put, you can see it's a tripod and it's a camping light. Anyways, we'll, see, we'll take a look at that later tonight. Again, I'll leave a link in the description for all this stuff if you're interested in any of it. All right, so you see all my gear. This is the, the tent that we have that we're gonna set up here on the back platform. And I, if you guys know the Maverick, the truck bed is only four and a half feet. And uh, I don't know a whole lot of people that are four and a half feet tall, but uh, uh, so what I need to do is we need to open up the tailgate, open up uh, this platform, and we could have a platform that's over six feet and I'm under six feet and I should be fine. So what we need is these legs that I have right here. So, and I have three legs. And what we're gonna do is flip this guy over and each leg is marked according, left, right, middle. And I, for right now, until I come up with a better system, I just have them held in with these uh, pins. Okay, so the platform is down and you can see, even when the platform is down, I could still access all my gear. the kitchen side too and uh, this is when the, the legs come in handy because you need to pull it out a little bit extra further um, so you can still access everything but when it's in the, the the platform mode I just have the drawers in to this far I don't push it all the way Take in. A look at what that looks like so now we have this camping platform and what I have here already is this exercise mat and it's just ready to go just like a puzzle you just put it together and here you have a nice soft platform to put your tent so for the tent let's start let's put that up okay so what i have here is this tent right here it's a, just a really cheap two-person tent that fits perfect in the back of the Maverick. Let's get here. I need my blow-up bed and I need to get this inflator. back and that's what it's gonna look like in camp mode so let's take a look on the inside let's go up so you can see without any gear you know it fits just perfect you know like I said uh, it's not a big truck bed but when it opens up it's a little bit over six feet Lay down. 
and you should be fine if you're not too tall. For the record, I'm 5'8". Let's get the gear inside. So I plan to have the refrigerator and the power station like this on the inside. Let's get the bed. So this, this bed is not a regular uh, backpacking bed. It, it's, it's thicker, which is really nice. Let's show you. And here's that inflator I mentioned. All right, and in not too much time, you could have your bed all set up. Let's take a look at the inside. Another nice thing about this bed is that you could actually um, inflate uh, by stepping on this thing or pushing down on it. A little manual inflator, but I don't plan to use that when I have the, the battery inflator. But basically, you know, it, it, there's a decent amount of room. It's not a whole lot of room, of course. But, uh, for, the, for the space that we have to work with, uh, for the Maverick, I just kicked open the thing. Yeah. For the space that we have for the Maverick, it's actually pretty nice. All right, another nice feature about this pull-out kitchen drawer is that uh, if I don't want to cook here or there's a, a nice uh, bench or something that I want to cook on and hang out with, I could literally take everything out and put it go put it on the bench all right so back here whether you want to use that to no cover or not you just have to fold it back like this it fits with or without the to no cover no problems all right here's a look at it further back walk around this is a really quick easy way to get you camping and and camping with a little bit of uh, amenities you know it's not like you're just grabbing a backpack and a tent and sleeping on the ground. You know, this is pretty nice. You got a refrigerator, you got power, you got solar. Um, so let's come back at night and then check out what it looks like with all the lights on and things like all that. All right, so we're back out here at night. So let's take a look at it. Well, first of all, I have these truck bed lights that I'll... So you can see I just turned on the sides of the truck bed lights. So lights up my tent area like that but let me show you what i have so remember this tripod that i told you about it's a work light tripod but it's going to work fantastic for camping So it just goes like that, and you could adjust the height. So you can see how bright that is, so let's take a look inside. So I have this flashlight, which is rechargeable, and it's really bright. You can see how bright this light is. All right, you can see what it looks like on the inside. And I'll take this flashlight, and what it has is a lantern mode. That. So basically, I'm going to have all the power I need with that light, and my power station, and I have my refrigerator, and I'm going to be pretty comfortable in here. So if you're interested to see how I built everything, if you click in the description, there is a playlist where I build everything pretty much step by step. And it's really inexpensive. It's just basically the price of some wood and some hinge type hardware and things like that. But uh, you can get up and running pretty easily. You know, uh, the, the tent is only like $25. And like I said, that you don't ha you don't need the refrigerator. It's really nice to have one. You don't need the power. It's really nice to have one. Solar panels, but anyways, so you stock it with whatever gear you want you know, and uh, you're up and going so this is my first uh, camper build with this Ford Maverick it is the easy build uh, so I, I do plan to do a few more um, that will not be as easy it'll be a little bit more complicated but uh, 
stay tuned if you want to check those out.